So starting with the practice problem, let's look at what you need to do for this assignment uh, for this unit. So if you recall on the practice problem, we have uh, two text boxes, one for the length and one for the width, and then we have a radio box list with the countertop type. Um, in our code here, we uh, pass the radio button uh, stuff from for the material to the session but we don't actually pass the uh, length and width so you have to modify the code so the length and the width uh, are also sent stored in the session variable before this response write redirect I mean response redirect uh, executes and calls up page two and then on page two we want to add some more to this estimate. So again, you want to be able to pull the information you sent into the session variable back into some um, some variables here that you can manipulate. Let's see what the final result should look like. So when you run your final result, you should be able to enter a width and a length here and select a type of countertop hit get estimate the length and the width should be stored in the session variable and then you should pull those out uh, here and you should say the be able to display those the countertop width and length and also calculate the cost of the total countertop and that is simply the width and the length times the cost per square foot uh, this forces you to make sure that at some point you've converted these into numbers so we can do this multiplication. So I also, again, want you to display the total cost here. So that's what you need to do for uh, the assignment for this unit is store those additional variables in the session and pull them out on page two.